everybody and welcome back to our Timmy's Terrific Tom and it's shaping up nicely now. Definitely is. This is the page we're working on. This is on the faux Timmy, I don't know what you want to call it, but um, Timmy lookalike papers and this is the section we're working on. Yesterday we did this one which was the envelope flip and it flips up and it's got that gorgeous, you can't see it, gorgeous collage paper there, it's beautiful. Um, so that's done and out the way for the time being. So this is the rest of it. It's got a side pocket here. It's got a big, I'm going to call it a patch pocket. I don't know what else you'd call it. It's kind of patch pocket. And this is a flip. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've lost my marbles already. This is a tuck spot in here. Now, then what happens is that comes down like that. That folds in and it's got three pockets. And this folds over and it's got our this that we made yesterday you can see i've kind of supersized it on the timmy one um, and i've gone for a more greeny sort of hue because there's quite a lot of greens in the timmy one so that will go like that and on this one i've put a ribbon on it this one hasn't got any and i don't honestly think it's making much difference but um right anyway so let me explain to you how i cut the papers and etc right so from my black card i measured i'll be disappointed if this is anything but six but uh yeah i scored at six inches made a score line and then i scored again at six inches <laughs> You're keeping up. Six and six. And then on that piece of paper, I left, I scored, it, scored an inch and a quarter. It's an arbitrary measurement. It's just so we've got a flap to stick the other piece of paper on. So we've got our paper scored at six and six, and then a cut off at an inch and a half flap after that. So then for the flap that's going to stick on, we need another piece that's just light of six for the folding over business. You don't want it to be a full six inches. So actually mine's five and three quarters. Um, and then what happens is you stick that onto your flap. So you've then got a trifold. Trifold tiddly eye fold. Indeed. So, right. So this is the center section. One more quick glance at it. Let's move that out of the way because we've done that on our Timmy one. Um, so there's the patch pocket, there's the tuck spot and there's the side pocket. Okay, so it, it couldn't get much more straightforward than that really. It's pretty straightforward. Having said that, I'm just going to leave that there <laughs> so, so I can keep checking out. Right, so let's start with this one then. This is the side pocket. And this, where's my crease line? Let's just move that across a bit. I'm running shy of my crease line by about an, an eighth of an inch, something like that. I just want to check. Yeah, that's fine. That's lovely. And then this piece is going to go on there, but right up to the edge. And get that one right up there. And they're going to stick like that but this one needs sewing before I can stick them okay so that needs sewing this one the patch pocket this needs sewing pretty much all around it what did I do with the other one I uh, yeah I just sewed all the way around it so I agree with myself <laughs> for once I'm in agreement so that needs to get sewn all the way around um, and that needs to get sewn all the way around but we'll come back to the back pieces then this this needs to get sewn around there then stuck on then we can sew around all of those so what have we got to sew we've got to sew this and this and this so i'll be back in a sec okay so here i am i've got my pieces uh, that i needed to sew around sewn around that goes there that goes there that goes 
there. Okay, so let's uh, glue these, or at least tack them with glue in place. And then we can sew around the whole kit and caboodle. Right, so that wants to be... I don't know if it wants to be, but that's where it's going. Like that. And this one... It's going to be there, so I need to put some glue on between there and the bottom. And let's just put a mark on the top as well. Down to there. Right, so let's just pop some glue on that. Just a little bit, just to hold it till I get it to the sewing machine, really. A little bit there, a little bit there. Okay. So that wants to go there. I'm going by the pencil marks that I made. And that goes to there. Okay, so let's just double check it just in case something's moved. No, that's great. That's fine. Right, so that just needs zigzagged all the way around. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. Let's move the pin on that. And this wants to get sewn on. Sewn. Stuck. I've got a long thread there somewhere from... I don't know what that's about. Let's just chop it off. Can't see it serving any purpose to us. I've got a bit of a bird's nest there. Right, okay, so that wants to go there. We want an equal each side. So what does it measure? It measures uh, five inches. And the paper measures... Well, it's not quite six, but I can center it on six. So uh, I want that half an inch in each side. Just light of half an inch, actually. So let's just line that up on the paper, put a little mark down it, there. So if I get that side straight, the other side will be straight. And I want this to be about where? Right there, so that's three quarters of an inch. So let's make a line along the bottom at three quarters of an inch. And if we stick by those two lines, we should be okay. So let's stick this on properly. This won't have much capacity to hold much because it's not gusseted or anything. Um, but we will still get a tag or something in there. But something quite flat. It's going to have to be something quite flat. But that's okay, because we can embellish the pocket and the background. So it doesn't have to be super fancy at all. There we go. Right. So let's see if I can see where these lines are. Yeah, I can see that corner there. So let's just go up that line there. And that should be fine. Oh, it looks like it's a bit a bit wider over this side. So let's just budge that across just a titchy bit. Or even a titchy bit more. What's that saying? That's saying good. Saying good, yes. And stick that down then. Lovely. So this is now ready to be zigzagged all around. So that's two sheets I've got ready to be zigzagged. And this one, um, that needs to just get stuck down there. And then all of that page needs to 
be zigzagged around. So we're making progress today, whistling through it. Absolutely whistling through it. Needn't put too much glue on here because you're going to be zigzagging. So let's just see where that is. Get it right there. And it's right there. Hooray! Lovely. So that's three pieces now to zigzag around and stick down before we flip it over and do the, the other bit. So let's do that. See you in a sec. Okay, so I've sewn around those and I've spared you the ordeal of watching me stick them down. They are now all in place, all looking good. Uh, and that's that spread. The only thing we need to add to it is the flap that comes over there, but we'll do that last. So that moves us on to the front, which is really easy peasy. It absolutely is. Um, yeah, I, I think that was the side I opted for. I really like this side and it's inked around that side but it's inked around that side too and I can't help feeling I had a bit of a clash of patterns but I'm not seeing what it was so let's sew around there and stick that down that's all you need to do with that but this section here let's just um, get the bone folder at work actually I can see here that when I Put this flip down I've just got a little bit it's just not quite square so let's just square that up that's fine all right um, yeah so that's gonna have this on it easy peasy because ultimately it's going to have this on it so you know it doesn't need any additional thing because it's gonna have that so that's easy to deal with. Uh, let's turn this over and see what's see what's occurring. And this page here is a pocket page. So I've got that. Oh, it's not square either. There. Whoops, a daisy. Yeah, that's, I made a good job of cutting that one. I don't want to cut too much of this either because I'll be into the stitching. That's okay. It's it's. I wouldn't say it was perfect. Absolutely perfect, but I don't think you can notice it. So that'll do for me. So come here, bit of paper. Whatever your plan was, I do not know. So this is the front, and that's going on there. Excellent. The back has got nothing on it apart from the flap. This, which needs a touch there before we stick it into the book. Uh, but this is the pocket page. So this is the bit that goes at the top, like that. And then we've got these pockets that come down, um, so sort of like that. And, oh yeah, this beautiful one, that, there. So that's going to be that. This one looks like it's just a touch too wide. So let's just take a touch off it. Is that enough or do I need some off the other side as well? No, that's perfect. I'll just whiz around there with the black ink again. And uh, because I've just taken some of it off. Honestly, I never in my life imagined I'd be going through so much black thread and black suit ink. It's unbelievable. Right, so what I need to do now is, before I can glue them together, is sew around there and sew around there. Look at my fingers, they're absolutely <laughs> thick with glue. So yeah, I can zigzag around there and stitch that on and I need to straight stitch around the top edges of these two. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've done the sewing, such as it is. There's not much of it. Um, and now I need to work out where I need to put my pockets. Um, yeah, that goes on there. So it goes on the back of, of that page. 
okay so this is the straight one which goes along the top like that uh, then we've got this one and I have put pencil marks where I think it should go um, so that's about there like that and let's just make sure and that's about there like that yes yeah that's great I can glit I can tap those up this one can get stuck down everything's all right I think um, yeah just probably need to mark where to glue to really would be a help no no I can glue oh dear I'm confusing myself let's glue from that pencil line down to the end of that bit of blue card timmy paper I should say calling it card like it's any old thing I don't think so right so let's just get this lined up get that on the pencil mark that on the pencil mark line them up like that it needs to come a little higher there we are right so that should be okay I've got long longish threads hanging out I, I like the threads but I don't want them too long so it's the same again Blimey, they are long <gasps> if you gather together all the ends that your sewing machine left you'd have a free bobbin a free reel of cotton Right, so that wants to go to there and to there. So I'm just going to put my glue down from that pencil mark down the edge. From that pencil mark down the edge. Lovely. Bring this one in and get it in the right place, which is there. And that should line up with there. Well, it did before I moved it. So let's bring that back up to that pencil mark. There we go. Lovely. So that now should be the right size. And it is. <laughs> it jolly well is. Right, let's see if there's any pencil marks we can rub out. It's not too bad, actually. OK, so now I need to just zigzag around there and stick that down. This one is ready to be stuck down. That's on the back of the double pocket. Yeah, okay. Let's stick this one down. So this is kind of the home straight for this section. And then I'll have to see what I can come up with. <laughs> oh dear, for the next section. There's cricket on, two matches of cricket today. So whilst the cricket is on, I shall turn my brain on if I can and see what I can come up with. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Right. So I want that as close to the edge as I can like that so I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there for the crease I've got some seepage of glue so let's get my Timmy towel for those of you who are new to watching me you must think I'm a bit bonkers really um, you're right I am a little bit bonkers but we just have phrases in the, in, in the group in the Facebook group that I have called Miss Paint a Lots Junk Journal group um, Everybody sort of knows my language and a Timmy towel. We have a Timmy towel because previous to having a Timmy towel, I had uh, wet wipes and they are just so bad for the environment. They really are. So, you know, you use them, toss them. No, we don't do that anymore. I've got this little towel and I'll have others as well. Mr. F made this and it says, Miss P makes mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good excuse that one, isn't it? So that's that page pretty much done. Um, that's the back. That folds over. That comes over. That's going to need a little bit of gentle persuasion, but not much. 
and that's going to come to there. Is that right? Am I right? No, this one. This one comes over the front. Oh yeah, that's much better. It fits perfectly. Right, so let's just go and sew around this. Then we can get it in place and stop faffing around. Okay, so I actually forgot that <laughs> uh, I needed to show you. Well, I didn't need to show you me sticking that bit down. It's I sew, I've sewn around it as we did, you know we looked at earlier, and I've stuck it down. N no more, nothing than that. Just just remember that these are pockets, so you don't want glue behind them. Otherwise, you won't get anything in your pockets rather defeats the object of the exercise right so there we are we've got all of that done and now is the time to pop this in place now you'll see now I've got all my bits in that this is actually quite a bit uh, narrower than than the page and that's all to enable it to close up that's the front to close up quite you know seamlessly like that which it does so let's just stick this in place the envelopes are facing you don't forget so I'm just gonna put um, I'm gonna put art glitter down here oh no it doesn't want to work it's getting a bit funny in its old age this art glitter I'll tell you That should be all right, I think. Yeah, there we go. So don't go right up to the uh, the score line. Otherwise, it'll sort of ooze out, really. And you don't want any oozy glue. There we go. Right. Now then, we want that centred. Is that centered? Maybe a little touch further that way. And then fold it in like that. So that's what it looks like on the back. There's our flap there that we've just put, put down. So let's just burnish that in place. Lovely. And then that is our that's that ostensibly except we've also got this to put on the front because why wouldn't we it's extra flips and flaps <laughs> it's necessary so uh, you don't have to have it squared up I quite like the idea of having it down towards the bottom actually yeah I might do that then we've got a little bit of room up there if we want to do something so yeah it's inside the stitching by a you know fair way well fair way I mean <laughs> an eighth of an inch or something so let's glue this down onto there if you want to make this a pocket hmm, that's an idea no I'm not I've got plenty going on plenty but if you did want to make a pocket only glue it around the three edges of course I'm going full tilt at every all the surface yucky yucky droppy gluey just going to put a bit over that ribbon just in case it takes it into its head to come loose it won't I mean it, it's art glittered it's Tim Timmy's collage tape and now collal so no I don't think it's going to go anywhere but let's just um, open that out so it's a bit flatter yeah that's good I think that's good there okay so let's just um, gather up all this seepage I knew I was gonna have some seepage because honestly I was ladling the glue on I 
There we are. I think we're all right at that. Lovely. So envelopes, flip up, pocket, side pocket, tuck spot, goes like that, two more big pockets, and then like that, and we've got this flippy thing here on the front. We're ready to stick that in our book. So where are you, Timmy? Here I am. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> you have a bit of a squeaky voice. So that is going to go this side, just right of the spine, about there. Oh, that looks nice in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Right, so, help if you take the lid off. I always find the glue comes out better if you take the lid off. So, we're getting getting through the tasks the next one will probably be the little detachable part um, for the right hand side because I've got the one for the left and then there's just one more section to actually do and then just the journal that's going in the center just the journal says she I mean it's a journal right okay there we go so Let's see what's going on. So I want that sort of equidistant from both sides. Yeah, I think that's good. What's it like on the top? This needs to come up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Happy with that. Let's open it up so we can give it a good press down. So was at this stage I think oh you know should I have done this should I have done that no it's too late now it's in the book so there we go so really you want to leave this alone now for a goodly while because there's a lot of gluing gone on in this section and of course we've glued it to the, the journal itself so if I was you I'd just leave that alone um, you know for a, a goodly a goodly time maybe overnight if you can manage it or whatever um, and that's that it's gorgeous isn't it there we are so yes coming along oh it's getting heavier now it's quite a weighty tome yeah excellent so let's as I say pop that to one side I'm actually going to leave mine on my desk because I'm not um, planning on doing anything else to it today and I might just leave it opened up like that so it can everything can get dried so thanks for joining me today we've got through a lot you know we really have we've finished this third section so as I say all that is to do is the detachable one for there and then this last section so and then, of course, the big journal. But, you know, we're doing well. We're doing well. So thanks for your company. I'll see you very soon. Take care, you all. Bye.